We are in the creme de la creme list. Here we go. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video where this is part 2 of my personal IEM picks for 2023 and in this video we'll be featuring the higher tier level IEMs but if you're interested in the budget to mid 5 level IEMs do check out the first part to my video link will be in the description down below without further ado let's talk about the high fire level even though I do own a few high fire level IEMs unfortunately I didn't get a lot of chance to feature them but the ones I did talk about were the ones I'd pick anyway before we get to the list I'd like to make one small amendment. When I had my early draft on my list, I kept using the Moondrop variations as a reference for the Fat Freak Maestro Mini that I accidentally placed Fat Freak Maestro Mini in the Hi-Fi list. Number 2, Fat Freak Maestro Mini. And then I realized, the Fat Freak Maestro Mini is about $430, which in my price category puts it at mid-fi. So since this IEM was so high in my Hi-Fi list, of course it'll take my number 1 spot in the mid-fi list because this IEM put Fat Freak on the map with a sub base that rumbles so deep it reaches into your core with enough mid bass slam to knock your brains out while keeping the mid range clean and there's enough trouble in the sound presentation that brings out all the details despite having all that bass this IAM is compared to the variations a lot due to its price point and while the variations has a bit more technicalities the maestro mini is no slouch and with that much engagement from its presentation i just have a blast listening to music with these it's simply addictive so with the maestro mini moving down to the top of my mid fire list moving up to my number three spot is none other than the maestro mini sibling the fat freak scarlet mini coming in at around 650 dollars just when you think fat freak couldn't get the base to go any deeper they simply said hold my beer and gave birth to the scarlet mini if you're all about base whether it's slam impact or deep rumble the scarlet mini at this price point simply takes the throne and no other ians below it and not a lot above it can triumph this iam in terms of base presentation despite having all that base the mid-range is still present however it's a smooth presentation which for me personally i prefer to have a little bit more trouble to cut through all that bass which is why it remains at this spot in my list however if you're looking for this kind of presentation where it's a smooth sounding very engaging presentation with enough details coming through your track then hello fat freak scarlet mini coming in at number two the seventh acoustics supernova coming in at about 730 dollars i typically don't go for smooth sounding presentations but the seventh acoustics supernova ticked all the right boxes that it's hard to ignore. It's a very smooth sounding presentation with lots of details however bass leaves a bit to be desired especially if you're looking for impact and slam which is why the next one would be more of your interest however when it comes to vocal presence and how supernova presents the music it's something you can kick back relax and just enjoy it all while supernova takes you on a ride. My number one spot the Thea Audio Monarch Mark III. This is a $999 IAM that I can't seem to let go. Paired with the Effect Audio Cadmus 8W cable and even without, it presents a sound that just suits my personal preference. Full bodied vocals that are present and enough bass to accompany the tracks with details that gives you a preview of what higher tiered IEMs sound like. It's the best balanced IEM I've personally heard and is rightfully placed in a category where it'll triumph any IEMs below it but it's the perfect window to higher tiered IEMs. Yet it brings you enough from the top ends that even if this was my only IEM in my possession, I would have been content. VOK A13 with the Effect Audio Cadmus AW on the TA Audio Monarch Mark III, it could be end game for many people, but of course, with this hobby, the curiosity never dies. And because I've heard what other IEMs sound like, it's hard to stay content. So with that, let's explore this Summit Phi. Once you've reached a certain price bracket, it's quite difficult to pick as there won't be a lot of opportunities to listen to every single one of them due to cost. So out of the few that I have had a chance to listen to, these were the ones that stuck with me. Starting from number 3, the Unique Melody Mest Mark II coming in at $1,500 US dollars. But I've seen it come down a lot lower on some sales. And I know there is a successor with the Mest Mark III, but the wide soundstage contributed by the recessed presentation, the imaging on the Unique Melody Mest Mark II, it separates itself from other IAMs at this price category. And it's an addictive sound presentation to listen to with your tracks. I truly enjoyed the presentation so much that I had to make it a permanent I am in my collection. Stay tuned for that video. Number two would be the Elysian Acoustic Labs Diva coming in at $1,600. 
the songstress. I meant it when I said the songstress stole my heart. If you're all about vocals, I'd pick the diva for the job any day of the week. It has enough rumble to accompany your tracks, lots of treble and air and lots of details. However, none of them ever takes the spotlight away from the vocals. It's another IEM that I think about from the tour and I'm still holding out just because I'm saving for that one end game IEM. But if I had extra funds or if I can find a really good deal, I hope to reunite with the diva once again sometime down the line. My number one, I mean this should have been obvious, the Fat Freak Maestro SE, coming in at 1,800 US dollars. I love my bass. When I first heard the Maestro SE, the bass simply floored me, and it was surprising how clean the mid-range was from all that bass. I haven't heard bass details like I've heard on the Maestro SE. Imaging was fantastic, it's not the most technical I am at this price point and the treble is a little subdued but that is why the Grand Maestro exists. But for what the Maestro SE brings to the table, it just makes me tap my feet, bob my head and make air drums because it's just that enjoyable. Which is why I decided to convert it to customs and make it a permanent IEM in my collection. So you might be thinking, where the hell is Sony IERZ1R? And I like to give a special shout out to that IEM as it presents a really powerful and clean bass presentation that is hard to match with a lot of details to match that bass presentation. But because of the fact that that IEM just doesn't fit my ears and it gives me a lot of discomfort as the reason why it's not on my list and why it's not in my collection any longer, even though it sounds really good. Now, we are at the top of the mountains. This is the level where money is of no concerns, where the topic of diminishing returns are pointless. This is where you come to see what or how these products at this level transforms your music, lets you listen to things you've never heard before, even though not every IEM at this level delivers that, but that's not the point. This is the Stratosphy level IEMs. Unfortunately, due to its exorbitant price tags, it's very difficult to feature a lot of Stratosphy level IEMs and I've only managed to listen to a handful. I'm pretty sure IEMs like the Elysian Acoustic Labs Annihilator, the Fat Free Grand Maestro or the Subtonic Storm could have made the list, but since I have not personally heard the Annihilator and Subtonic Storm and I've only previewed the Grand Maestro, that's why they're not on the list. So out of the few Stratosphy level IMs I've heard, the Vision Ears, EXT, Phoenix, Plus Sound Allegro and the Fur Audio IMs, the one IEM that shook my stance and made me even consider putting down my cash was none other than the Fur Audio Xenon 6. When that first note hit from the bass, I was shaken. Bass that you can feel was the tagline of Fur Audio's kinetic bass technology and with the Xenon 6, I felt it. Just like how I felt the Maestro SE sub bass. When I heard the vocals, I was surprised. With that amount of bass, you'd think everything would be masked or failed, but vocals came through, instruments have enough clarity to their sound, it strikes the perfect balance between giving you bass that you can feel with everything else in the frequency. However, my mind is still set on the Grand Maestro, but if money wasn't an issue, I'd get the Xenon 6 in a heartbeat. Ugh, I still think about it even though it's not with me anymore. And that pretty much sums up my top IM picks for 2023. If you've reached this portion of the video, thank you all very much for staying through and watching this video. I truly appreciate it. However, these are simply my personal picks for 2023. And with this hobby, it's ever changing. And I look forward to seeing what 2024 will bring and potentially knocking off some of these IEMs in my list. However, I'm curious about your list. Share Share with me in the comment section down below what are your personal pick for each price category. With that all said, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you all for an amazing 2023 and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy hunting.